Hey everybody, Homicide Center here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing what I believe to be the strongest possible team in the Evolution Cup. And not only is it the strongest team, but it also does not have Vigoroth. The team consists of a Swine lead, Shadow Golbat as the safe switch, and Togetic as the closer. The worst I've ever done with this team is 4-1. I believe I'm 23-2 in my past 25 games. So this team has performed amazingly. I do want to give credits. I actually saw this team used by Human Catcher Bug when I queued into him, tried it out, and the results have been amazing. Hopping to the first match, getting Piloswine into Shadow Dragonair. This is a pretty solid matchup for the Piloswine. I'm going to throw the Avalanche right away, as it's very risky for my opponent to throw the Aqua Tail as soon as they get it, and risk me getting a Powder Snow for free. And then I can save switch into the Shadow Golbat. Opponent is going to try and go for Charge Attack Priority, but I end up going for the Extra. The reason why I like to switch here is Golbat does have the pacing advantage. So after you grab the shield, you can send in the Golbat, you can shield once, outpace them, and pick up the knockout. In comes Charge a Bug, and this is part of what makes Shadow Golbat so deadly. It is absolutely the glue that keeps this team together. Shadow Golbat basically has no bad matchups in this meta. Even against something like Charge a Bug, if you end up landing the Shadow Ball, you can just shield and then wing attack them down. It's an absolute insanely powerful Pokemon, and on top of that, it does extremely well at shutting down Vigoroth. In the end game, speaking of Vigoroth, we have Vigoroth versus Togetic. I'm running Fairy Wind on the Togetic. I didn't really want to use an Elite Fast DM. You probably could use Steel Wing, but I didn't have it, so I ended up running with Fairy Wind. And honestly, I really like the pacing of Fairy Wind. I'm farming up energy here, going for the Aerial Ace. Opponent switches into Charger Bug, trying to snipe, but they end up catching the Aerial Ace. And now my opponent's in a difficult spot. It's logical for me to try and catch there. So they end up going for the X Scissor, anticipating the catch, but I just don't switch. And now I throw one Fairy Wind, I switch into the Pylos Wine to defer the Volt Switch, and then I should just be in a winning position here, where I can farm all the way down, and one counter from the Vigoroth is not going to be enough to knock out. So I make the Avalanche, Avalanche is going to KO the Vigoroth, and we take the win. Moving into the next match, hitting Piloswine into Vigoroth. This is probably the most common lead you're going to see, as Vigoroth is absolutely everywhere in this cup. I'm going to save switch into the Shadow Golbat. The opponent responds with Charge Bug, and it looks like I've been hard countered on the lead and the switch. But this right here is the magic of Shadow Golbat. Shadow Ball does just massive damage onto the Charge Bug, and now I can comfortably shield, farm down, and take switch. My opponent goes for the X Scissor, which allows them to make a second X Scissor, but notably, this is not enough energy for a discharge. So, I'm just going to be able to take switch advantage right from my opponent, and what was looking like a hard counter game is suddenly, I'm in a significantly better position. They send in the Vigoroth. Vigoroth, counters are double resisted onto the Golbat, which means they're going to have a very tough time farming down. I make it to another Poison Fang, and I've gotten an insane amount of value out of this Golbat. In the back, my opponent has their own Togetic, and they are running Fairy Wind as well, and now I should just be in a completely winning position. Firing off the Avalanche, opponent can start using shields on the Togetic, but they can't shield these Powder Snows, and the Powder Snows are getting it closer and closer to Ancient Power Range, in case I need my own Togetic to KO theirs in the endgame. They can fire off another Ancient Power, but again, this is not going to be enough to knock out. They go for the Ancient Power, that's perfectly fine, and I'm going to be returning fire with the Avalanche. Avalanche just cleanly KOs here, so they're forced to commit the shield, and now I can send in my own Togetic, and I'm just in a completely one position. Now, I'm running a very high rank Togetic, which means I do lose charge attack priority, and I should have kept that in mind, as unfortunately, I played two AC of Vitae that I do not win. That's definitely not ideal. I'm going to be firing off the Ancient Power. Ancient Power is going to be enough to pick up the knockout. I get the boost, but honestly, the boost does not matter here whatsoever. My opponent needs three to double up, so they're doubled up here, but it is charge attack priority. So even though I did get the boost, the boost does not impact the outcome of this game whatsoever, as Aerial Ace boost or not definitely would have been enough to pick up the KO. Moving into the next match, getting Piloswine into, you guessed it, another Vigoroth. Same game plan as before, just save switch into the Shadow Golbat. This opponent does not have a good response. That works out great for me. I can begin to start applying debuffs with Poison Fang. The Poison Fang is going to connect. They make it to a Rock Slide, but I'm not going to respect this. Even if it is a Rock Slide, I do survive it, and it's still an awkward amount of health range where the Vigoroth can't comfortably farm down, so they're just going to go for the Body Slam and then send in Zwilus. I land the Poison Fang, get some nice damage and a debuff, and this is going to set up my Piloswine quite nicely. Piloswine will be able to tank whatever they throw and commit to the farm down and exit with an Avalanche to threaten the Vigoroth. 
I'm farming up. Unfortunately, the game ends up lagging quite a bit. Game, please. Back in comes the Vigoroth, and I have the Avalanche loaded. The Avalanche is going to be shielded up by my opponent. I send in the Togetic, and my opponent does not farm up to a Rock Slide. This is only a Body Slam, so I'm very comfortable with no shield in this. I can now farm up four, and then fire off this Aerial Ace just before they make it to their next Slam. The Aerial Ace is shielded, so my opponent clearly not a big fan of the Togetic in the back. I'm going to be shielding up as they go for the Body Slam. I'm just going to look to throw... Oh man, and they catch onto a Celio. So now we see why they weren't a big fan of switching. Because of course, Ancient Power is very threatening. Now Celio is 5-4 to Body Slam. So it's 5 to the first, 4 to the second. And it looks like I'm going to need a catch to win this game. So I will need to shield this as Body Slam just removes too much of my remaining HP. I'm going to farm up four Fairy Winds, switch into the Swine, and get the catch. And now I just have to double up. If I double up, I win the game. In comes the Togetic. Togetic, I accidentally overtap, but I am doubled up here, so this is just winning for me. And I have the back-to-back -back Aerial Aces. So my opponent did have an Anti-Flyer in the back with the Celio, but it just doesn't matter. The team keeps on winning. We've got interesting leads in the next match as I lead into the Piloswine Mirror. This is a situation where having slightly more attack on my Piloswine would be nice, as winning charge attack priority would allow you to dictate the mirror. And of course, my backline is very weak to Piloswine, so that would be useful, but unfortunately, the one I have built is very high rank, so odds are I'm probably going to lose charge attack priority. In that case, I'm just going to let this through, as I will be able to make one more Avalanche, opponent is going to switch out and make a catch onto Dusclops. So Dusclops, able to absorb that energy, and I'm going to send in the Golbat. This is actually a faint attack Dusclops, which is a very interesting choice, so they are going for the anti Vigoroth tech. However, I can just send in the Golbat. Faint attack has some pretty poor pacing, so I can just pick up the knockout with the Shadow Ball. They can send in the Piloswine if they want to, they do have loaded energy, but I have a very healthy Golbat, and I'm just going to go for a Poison Fang and a Farm Down play. I need to get rid of this Piloswine by whatever means necessary. I'm fine with them no shield in this. In fact, I would prefer that they no shield it because I just need to get rid of the Piloswine. And now I can threaten to farm down and debuff whatever my opponent has in the back. They're sending it in and it's going to be a Togetic. Okay, this is super playable. Fire off the Poison Fang. That just does so much damage. They're actually running Steel Wing on the Togetic, so they are running the Legacy move. I'm able to make one final Poison Fang, grabbing the shield from my opponent. I send in my own Togetic, and at this point, unfortunately, I end up getting one turn bring in there, so I'm not able to make it to my charge attack. I'm farming up, and we get the catch, so it's not going to matter. So thankfully, the game robbing us does not have an impact as we're able to get the catch. And here is Togetic. I can just farm up just shy of the back-to-back -back moves. Aerial Ace will comfortably pick up the knockout. They can send in the Piloswine, but it's not going to matter. Again, we have so many instances with this team of flying types taking out Pokemon that deal super effective damage to those flying types. This team is just insanely flexible. Even in matchups where you're hard countered, there are still win cons. And speaking of being countered, Piloswine on the lead into another Vigoroth. I safe switch into the Shadow Golbat. My opponent is going to respond with their Charger Bug. We know the game plan. Go straight for the Shadow Ball. Guarantee either Shield Advantage or Switch. They let it go. Hello, Switch Advantage. I can now Shield. They are at the back-to-back -back X-Scissors here, but they are one-off back-to-back Discharges, so I can just take Switch. And if they send in the Vigoroth, I'm going to be able to make it to two Poison Fangs here. They send in the Vigoroth. It is not fun trying to counter down a Golbat with double resisted counters. So I'm going to be able to make it to this Poison Fang, no problem. And just like that, we win switch advantage and we're in a pretty nice position. Opponent is going to send in Arctabax as their final Pokemon. And now I can send in Togetic. So the opponent is extremely weak to Togetic. I can send in the Togetic here as I do have a pretty nice pacing advantage, but I do have to watch out for a potential Icy Wind or Avalanche. So I am going to be using the final shield here. I would love to grab the shields from my opponent, and then when I get shields down, I'm going to feel very comfortable sending in the Piloswine. So I'm firing off the Ancient Power. The Ancient Power will get the shield. I've got all the shields, and now I can send in Pilo. Pilo farming up. It doesn't matter what they throw here. 
I survive it. They go for the Dragon Claw. That's perfectly fine. They send in the Vigor off. And so I'm just going to go for the Avalanche before they're able to fire off their energy. That will pick up the knockout. Arctabax has to try and farm down for the Wincon, but they're not able to get there. Pyloswine, too tanky. Opponent will go for the Dragon Claw, and that means they're not going to be able to pace fast enough to a potential Avalanche. So I can just make it to the Aerial Ace, pick up the knockout, and another lead loss turns into a win. Moving into the next match, we get up a positive lead Pyloswine into Charge Bug. My opponent is going to stay in this matchup to start, which works out pretty nicely for me. They go for the X-Scissor, and that's fine. I'm able to tank an X-Scissor. They have zero fast move pressure here. Opponent is going to save switch into the Vigoroth, and I'm going to respond with the Shadow Golbat. For Vigoroth safe switches, Shadow Golbat is absolutely the Pokemon that you want to send in, as it has a very, very comfortable matchup. My opponent, even if they go for the Rock Side here, I can withstand this damage. They're going to go for the Double Body Slam. This is the way to guarantee shield advantage, as the Vigoroth player is go for the Double Body Slam, but even if they go for the Rock Side, that is something that I can survive. I'm looking to overfarm and go for the Poison Fang because I do want to exit this matchup with energy that I can use to threaten that Charge Bug. In comes the Charge Bug. Charge Bug looking for the farm now, but Golbat will make the Shadow Ball, and we know this is going to do a lot of damage. It connects, leaving them on 1 HP. In the back, they have Dragonair. And this is just winning. This is just straight up winning. I have back-to-back -back avalanches here. I'm going to be able to grab both shields from my opponent and then send in the Togetic. And then Togetic is going to be able to clean up this game very, very comfortably as Togetic is not threatened by energy from the Dragonair whatsoever. Dragonair can fire off double body slam if they want to. I'm going to overfarm and actually let them get the double body slam because that's just not going to be an issue. Body Slam is going to connect. I just have to farm up to the back-to-back -back Ancient Powers. First Ancient Power, of course, will pick up the knockout onto the Dragonair. And then we have the second Ancient Power for the Charge Bug. So we do see a very nice lead there and a Vigoroth safe switch, but the Shadow Golbat is able to keep switch advantage when the opponent safe switches to Vigoroth, and then you're just in a really comfortable position. Moving into the next match, we see a great lead leading the Pyloswine into Golbat. My opponent save switches into Vigoroth, so as always, I'm going into the Shadow Golbat. Golbat fires off the Poison Fang. Opponent isn't going to shield, and I'm not going to shield either. My opponent is going to full send the Rock Slide. That does a lot of damage, but this is where Golbat, having that double resist to counter is incredibly nice, as it's real tough to try and counter down. They're shielding. They're looking for switch advantage, but guess what? It's a simul KO. My opponent loses so much energy, and they resign the match. Moving into the next match, hitting Pyloswine into Togetic. We'll have to check their fast move. They're switching out, so they probably don't have Steel Wing. My opponent save switches into Charge of Bug, and I fire off the Avalanche before they're able to make it to a move. The Avalanche will be no shielded, but that does some very valuable damage. My opponent is now one off the back-to-back -back X Scissors. If they over farm, then I get to a move first, so they only have one time to throw their charge attack, so it's a very straightforward catch onto the Shadow Golbat. This way, I preserve HP, I preserve energy on the Pyloswine, I get a big farm down with the Shadow Golbat, and now my opponent is in an awkward spot. Do they send in the Togetic here? They do send in the Togetic, and we do see it is on Fairy Wind. I'm firing off this Poison Fang. Opponent is going to no shield, but that does quite a lot of damage. And now I could choose to let this go, but I'm sensing an opportunity where I can potentially get Poison Fang debuffs on whatever they have in the back if I just use my shields. Because the more Poison Fangs I throw, the more damage these wing attacks are going to do. Opponent is going to commit the shield. I continue to farm up with the Golbat. I'm double shielding. I'm feeling that Golbat can put in a lot of work for me. Opponent is going to have to switch. And right on cue, there is the Vigoroth. Vigoroth will be hit with the Poison Fang. I'm continuing to farm up. I get the catch of the Body Slam. They wanted to throw before I made it to a move. But a Body Slam will not knock out. And the counter won't knock out either. So I get... Get the avalanche here. The avalanche is just going to pick up the KO. In comes the Togetic, and we take the win without revealing our third. Hopping to the final match, leading Pyloswine into Charge Bug. The Charge Bug is staying in, and considering I have two flyers in the back, I am very happy about that. I have alternated a little bit whether I decide to full send a Stone Edge or just decide to go for the Avalanche. Here, I decide to full send the Stone Edge. May as well, people were calling it. They let it go, and I'm able to get that Powder Snow farm down. 
when I see that normal typing, I know that it's going to be the Vigoroth. So I save switch into the Golbat and they have a Chansey in the back. So the opponent going for the timeout strat, I absolutely refuse to lose to this Pokemon. So now I am fully engaged. I will not lose to a Chansey. I'm going to fire off Poison Fang after Poison Fang into the Chansey, just looking to soften it up, get some debuffs, and more importantly, stall out the clock. I would love to be able to switch out of this matchup, as of course Zen Headbutt is hitting for super effective damage here. I will use a shield, just because my opponent isn't going to have a very easy time with farming me down. I'm able to save some energy, send in the Togetic, and in comes Vigoroth. And this is very okay for me. I'm able to outpace the Vigoroth, as I do have a pretty okay energy advantage, and I'm just going to be able to survive this rock slide no problem and continue to just chip away at their HP with more and more aerial aces. The lower they get, the better chance that I'm going to have to win this game. Opponent is actually going to commit the shield. This will actually be close. I might be able to tank this body slam. So I let it through and the high rank Togetic able to survive. I think it's the rank 11. Oh my goodness. We're able to survive. I can send in the Golbat. Golbat is going to be firing off the Poison Fang. The Poison Fang is going to connect. Vigoroth makes it to a last second charge attack, but I don't have to shield this. As long as I have Piloswine and a shield, they can't win the game with Chansey. Back in comes to Chansey, I can fire off the Avalanche. This will do some very nice damage, and Chansey just generates energy too slowly. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. All in all, this is a truly incredible team, and it's a team that is going to be amazing if you're looking to push rank and push for legend during this Evolution Cup week. This is a cup that feels a lot of the time that games are determined by alignment. Basically, just more or less rock, paper, scissors, but this team helps cut through the RPS nature of the cup, and it ends up being an extremely flexible one. I believe the worst I've ever gone with the team is a 4-1. So the team, it just performs amazingly well and kind of studying the matchups and following along with some of those lead thought processes and what to do if they save such Vigoroth and stuff like that. I think this is a team that people can use and also replicate a large amount of success. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.